We want to go and visit the apiary. We want to go and open live bees. So before you visit an apiary, what you have to do first is to make sure you're secured. So what we've done is uh, 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 done some bee suits. As you can see, we are all uh, wearing bee suits and all protected. So in the next few minutes, you are going to visit the apiary that is at our backyard open one and see what's going on inside a beehive. Okay, so what my friend is doing here is basically lighting up a smoker. So a smoker is a very essential equipment in beekeeping. Uh, it's used in smoking the bees so that they don't get too aggressive when you're working on the bees and especially during the day like now. So once you smoke the hive, it, uh, the bees uh, get something that uh, distracts them in terms of the smoke and also kills the pheromones of the bees so that uh, in case they start stinging around the pheromones do not get too much uh, so that they start flying all over okay so the smoker is ready we can head to the apiary now the importance of uh, protecting yourself in terms of wearing a bee suit and all that is because we all know bees are very aggressive insects and uh, they sting and when they sting they usually unleash a venom that when it gets into your body reacts with your body and for some people you swell some people it's uh, very dangerous it can even kill so this is something that we usually take very serious so there is no way we can take chances so the only way is to do this is by protecting yourself first and then heading to the apiary to deal with the bees We are right in the apiary, uh, we have our hives here, not all of them, um, okay I'm going to ex first of all explain what we have here in terms of a beehive and this is called a Langstoth beehive. A Langstoth beehive consists of two compartments, we have the upper box which looks smaller, it's called a super box and then we have the lower box which uh, is a little bit bigger called a brood box. And then at the entrance is uh, an equipment that uh, is used to trap pollen. So basically uh, we place it there so that we can see if we can get uh, some pollen for our own use and sell. Now the Langstoth beehive basically has the purposes of the compartments are not the same. So the first compartment here that we call a super box is basically a store for honey. So this is where the bees usually store their honey and especially during the honey flow season. And the lower box is more, that, more like their home. So this is where uh, the, the development of the bees happen. This is where the queen will come in, lay eggs on the uh, built combs. And uh, once the eggs are hatched, they will go through the complete metamorphosis system whereby they will go through egg, larva, pupa, adult, become adults, fill up the hive, make the hive become active. And when the environment flourishes with the flowers, they will end up collecting nectar that they will later on fill up here to form honey that will later be harvested. So as we will continue with the process, we will open up the hive and see what's going on inside the hive. So when you are lighting a smoker, it's always good to use things like uh, wood shavings, dried grass, dried twigs, dried leaves, other than uh, uh, things like uh, papers or plastic which have chemicals that might affect the bees when you smoke inside the hive. Before you start opening a hive, Remember what we did uh, before we came here, we lit a smoker. So the first thing that you should do is always smoke a hive before you start opening it. Remember we said the smoker is uh, used to at least calm the bees. So what we are going to do is just smoke the entrance of the hive before later on we let the smoke to settle inside the hive and then now we can open. So what you are going to use at the moment is the smoker and then next for us to open the hive, we have this that we call a hive tool. Most of the time you'll find that uh, once bees settle inside the hive, they use what we call propolis to seal off any opening or any movable part in a hive. So you'll find that even the lid of the hives usually become very, very intact or sealed together with the, uh, the super box. So it's something that you cannot easily open with your bare hands. So the hive tool here is what will help us in separating these parts, including the lid and even what will uh, see inside there that are called frames. So once I open the top part, he has to smoke also the top part. Uh, what we have here is called a uh, propolis trap. This is used to collect propolis. What happens is that uh, the more it sits here, the more the bees will uh, seal all these openings with the propolis and then later on we will come remove it, go and scrap off the propolis. 
Now, so we've opened our super box that we mentioned earlier is the chamber. It's the chamber where the bees put honey. So what I'm removing at the moment are called frames. So frames, as you can see, is the space where the bees build what? The combs. So what we are seeing here are the combs. So the combs generally are where the bees now store the honey. If you open the lower box, we will see that the combs again down here are where the bees uh, or the queen lays the eggs other than just storing the honey. So the purpose of the combs in a hive, one, is it provides space where the bees put the honey and also provide the space where the queen will lay the eggs and the development stage happens. So if I can bring it closer to the cameraman, you can see the frame has a little bit of some honey. So the honey at the moment is not ready for harvesting because it's still open. We usually ha uh, harvest honey that is capped. So what I mean by capped is what we have here. You can see this part of the honey looks like it's sealed. But this other part of the honey is open. So this sealed part, at some point, you'll realize that the bees will seal the whole entire comb. So once they seal the whole entire comb, it means that honey has a moisture content that when later on extracted and stored will never ferment but if you harvest this honey that is open it means it has that extra moisture that when extracted and stored will ferment so we are talking of at least 20 percent and below moisture content is what we call ready uh, for harvesting honey